you know, something, baby dolls. Today is the day that I unbox my mini Nintendo Entertainment System and I'm going to share this momentous event with all of you lucky viewers of mine, yes. So, without further ado, let's open it. Yes. It's tightly closed, unfortunately. And the flap is, um, is is most unyielding, I suppose you could say. It's hurting my finger trying to push it out by by um by by slipping my finger in there. Maybe this other end will be oh yeah I can um, I can see a kind of push thing, a kind of push flap or something on this side. Oh now I just need to figure out how it works. Um, uh, it kind of, it, it's a kind of handle type thing that, that, um, that uh, kind of it pulls out to uh, see here. Uh, like this, yeah. So, yes, um, we're about to do it now. It's kind of long, though. Like, it, it, it is, um, it, it, it kind of hooks in there, but the, the flap that goes in there is really long, and so it's hard to get out. See, look how long that top flap is and how it was folding inside. Makes it hard to pull out, especially if you don't want to damage it. I'll get creases in it or whatever. I mean, you'd think these companies would know that with how nice the boxes are, that people like me wouldn't want to damage them when, when we're opening them, wouldn't you? And that they'd like make it easier somehow to open them and now I've got to pull this um, this interior wooden filament part out here seems like it's tightly wedged in obviously it's going to be tightly wedged in Dealing with the OCD. Oh, uh, yes, I've got it now. Look at this. Here's the instruction book on top. I always find it sad the idea of getting fingerprints and stuff like that on instruction books in these units, but. When you think about it, it's what a four, isn't it really? And um, and it's like um, nice to have to like um, to like um, you know it used them a lot and whatnot, isn't it? So yes, um, guess I'm just being too much of a perfectionist. Anyway, here's the little miniature Nintendo here. I'm looking forward to this. They come in nice bags, don't they? Not sure if you can see the um, texture of it all, but it's nice either way. And here we have the actual mini 
console unit. <laughs> Quite beautiful, I must say. Look at this. Yeah, beautiful indeed. I'm sad to say that um, when I was young, I, I, um, I had an, origi an, orig an original Nintendo like this, the full-size version, but it was the only console I ever had which I ended up selling. I've still got all my other consoles somewhere about in the house, gathering all kinds of dust and possibly being unusable by now. But I sold me Nintendo. I sold me Nintendo. Back in um back in ninety three so that um so that my parents could have enough uh, money to get me a Super Nintendo at some point. Yes, we sold it with like three or four games for um, sixty pounds, and um, and um, that went towards the Super Nintendo and Mario World, which we got for about a hundred and fifty pounds. Yes, um, so we hope I haven't got dust in the in this grid part here, like flakes and whatnot, without um. I tend to do, I tend to um, spread disgusting stuff on things like that, isn't it? Being, being a disgusting person and all. <coughs> I wonder if the cartridge flap opens on it. I mean, I'm scared to kind of try hard in case I break it, but yeah, it's... Um, Cartridge flap doesn't seem to open. Probably for the best, though, that you don't don't get dust or hairs or foreign objects in there, isn't it? I wonder if when I plug it in, um, when I plug it in, it works by t by pre by pressing the power button to turn it on. It'll all be interesting to see, me, won't it? Yeah. So that's the. <coughs> That's the, car, the um, console, the, the little mini Nintendo, and here we have the joypad that comes with it. Yes, yeah, only one joypad that comes with it. Um, could get more, so my mum says. So my mum says. Anyway. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Nice, so it's the same size as they were originally, but still, that's that's necessary, really, isn't it? Yes, isn't this beautiful, pristine condition? It's to be hoped it lasts a while though, isn't it? Because you know how these days things aren't really built to last, are they? Yeah, I'm just feeling this now, getting a feel for it. It feels, um, feels like such quality. So nice and smooth and pristine. Very, very happy with this indeed. Smells kind of metallic and nice as well. Yes, very, very nice. I used to think they were, um, these days, um, when I look, um, when I look about, I look at Nintendo, little Nintendo Entertainment System joypads like this, I can't help but thinking how how small and simple and cute they looked compared to later joypads on later consoles, which got which uh, 
which got uh, gradually more and more complicated with buttons all over the place and joysticks on them and shoulder buttons and whatnot. Yeah, this is a nice blast from the past indeed, you could say. And, um... What else have we got in here? I'm sorry, just figuring out how these boxes work is sometimes a, a puzzle in itself, pretty much. Is it even possible to open this bus and fall off here? Or are they just supposed to like squeeze the wires out of it or something? Sometimes, sometimes it feels like you need an instruction box just to tell you how the boxes work as well, really. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, uh, I think this is the, this is, um, a USB cable for it. So I'll be able to use it on my laptop with this. Isn't that great? Uh, I was hoping it would come with a USB cable rather than having to buy it separately. I used to think this is a USB cable anyway. You know, with how it's got um, that uh, plug-in port jack type thing in the in the bags. The yes, intriguing trees, Batman. Yes, and um, in here, the last thing in here, looking like Indiana Jones's bow whip coiled up. Is um. Yes, these must be, um, not quite sure, um, some other kind of power cable. Oh, maybe this is what plugs it into the TV, um, for like if you're not using it with a computer, yes, I can be slow, can't I? Or at least I get there in the end. And as as the as the race between the hare and the tortoise tells us, getting there in the end is more important than showcasing immense speed and quickness, isn't it? And so, leaving you with that last little bit of that last little nugget of wisdom. You could say that concludes my Jerry Springer-like final thought for this video. So, until my next video, I, be I bid all of you ladies and gents a fond farewell. And I'll see you, see you next time and catch you on the flip side. Adios.